My name is Marie Janssen van Rensbeek. I'm the campus director of Middlesex University in Mauritius, um, and I was a member of the jury for the uh, Agents of Change competition. I'm Anna Kiprianu. I'm the Pro Vice Chancellor for Equality, Diversity and Inclusion, and I was privileged to be part of the Agents of Change competition panelists in 2021. There was quite a wide range of subjects, um, very topical but also very serious subject um, and what that tells me is that um, that the young people today are very much interested in those things. These are not topics for politicians, these are topics for everyone in society. A campaign against pornography and how that affects people who are in the pornography industry and who those people really are. People with autism, people with maybe ADHD, uh, these kind of things that you don't normally see from a person but can affect a person's life a lot. Domestic violence, I think it's something that needs to be shown in, in various in various way and to bring awareness about this is very important. I did a short documentary about eco-anxiety. I realized that it's affecting really, I think, most of us and we don't talk about it at all. Colorism is the discrimination against darker skin shades within the same community. This Iranian singer who had to leave her country to come here in order to pursue her, you know, her singing career. I want people to see that it is such a common thing Everyone will suffer with something at some point relating to their mental health. Our purpose with this video was we wanted to uh, shine some light on um, social minorities or people in our society that might not get as much um, room to speak as anyone else. I think what was most striking was that they were talking about their lived experience and I think that was incredibly powerful. I feel like everyone should be treated the same way and i've seen that not happening and i've seen people that look like me kind of ignore that that particular work was really quite profound um, and i think they did a great job of explaining it to, for somebody who perhaps doesn't know what white privilege is or what it looks like we want to make a video that was going to make a difference for people especially that was going to our university because uh, the university has so many cultures and so many different countries. When we were in the crew and Alina spoke to me about this idea, I was like, this is literally what we should be doing as students. How many women are getting through this experience when even though the aggressor is not there with them all the time, but it's always present inside them. This is real life. This is something that happens every single day. Once you have this conversation between the people, it's easier to like feel connected to what they're saying. This is actually their words, their feelings. And that's one of the clues about this video is that they were so open and they were able to give their answer without anyone saying, oh, don't say that word, don't say this. It's not only people talking about them, it's them talking about themselves. You know, you're already made aware of things like that in the news, but once you actually hear it from someone in person, that's when it becomes so much more real. I saw injustice in my family, so I kind of always wanted to to either be a voice, you know, for, for those who can't who can't let their voice heard or or fight for justice. It was things that they they grappled with, things that they that they thought should change. It was clear that it mattered to them first of all and second of all that they that they wanted it to change. And hopefully inspire other people to also make those changes because that's kind of how I felt when I started to learn about colorism. We don't have all the power but still we have the personal power and we know that if I do the best what I can it's going to spread around and this is the only way how we can affect as a mass the politicians. The way the politicians speak out, like, you know, it's not going to reach out to the young people and the generations who are affected by that. They're not, they've not been there, they've not lived that. Whereas when you get people who have been there and have done that, that's when people will listen. Uh, th this was a surprise. <laughs> this was a surprise. To actually win something and be recognised for it is really heartwarming. It's nice to win. Thank you. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow, thank you. <laughs> I, I wasn't understanding. So I just couldn't believe it. I was like, whoa. It's very rewarding. I think that's the right word, rewarding, to know that something that was just so natural for me has actually been appreciated. So I, I really appreciate um, that 
my work has been recognised in such a standard. Oh, that's so great. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. That's amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. Do you wow. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. <laughs> it's nice to win a prize, but I think the most, the thing that I get most excited about is our project that we were so dedicated about like that that actually has been appreciated yeah that's the best price really so yeah i'm really happy for that that gives us confirmation that what what we make can affect other people as well so i feel very very pleased and excited to see um where this project leads i am passionate about it i i would, like this isn't the only project i would like to do about it and make more people agents of change. <laughs>